So it's August 1st, and we have our first speech therapy in home. I think she's actually here. So she'll be coming in the door any second. And so this is exciting. I don't know how long it'll, it'll take or how long she'll be here, but um, we ran to the store real quick this morning to get milk. And uh, now we're waiting for our new friend, Harrison. Do we have a new friend coming to play with us? I think her name is Katie. Can you say Katie? <laughs> good job. He's just been doing so good. Oh, so good the last few days. He's been repeating everything that I say and um, really communicating. So um, I, we're just so excited. So this hopefully will even do better. But he's just been doing so good on his own the last few days. I mean, really has just been trying to talk and say things. And if I say, if I ask him to say something, <clears throat> he either, he says it. Um, or he at least tries, and so he's just doing amazing. So anyway, hopefully I'll get a little bit of footage today and show you kind of what we're doing. But um, yeah, today's our first day in speech therapy. So we'll see. I didn't get to take any video, video footage today. Um, this was her first appointment with him, so it really was just mostly paperwork, um, filling out paperwork and like um, doing some assessment. Her kind of asking me the same kind of things but she kind of needed to know for herself. Um, she is with a company called Solace, and they, they work with children um, of all kinds of needs. Uh, communication and speech is what she does, is, a, is a speech, but then they do, they, they work with like special needs kids that have like medical equipment, they do occupational therapy, they do all kinds of, of therapy, and so, but, but she's just doing speech. Um, so anyway, really sweet young girl um, her name is Katie and Harrison was really good at saying Katie and we said um, we said bye Miss Katie and he said bye Miss Katie and you could you know you could pretty much understand it um, so we just did a lot of talking today she did interact with him a little bit um, but then hopefully next week we'll have an appointment every week and so hopefully she said that next um, it'll be she'll have the green light to go ahead and start next week um, when she turns the, all her paperwork in. So, yeah, she got to kind of get a good little view of him today. Um, some of the things she said that we'll work on, she thinks that, um, you know, we'll reinforce it, but we don't really have to work on, what she call it, receptive communication, I think, is where, like, he understands. Um, that's not a problem. That's not an issue. He understands what you're saying. So we're going to work on um, him uh, communicating back and so a couple of things that she mentioned was um, like giving him choices that's a lot of the things that we'll do is give him choices do you want to do you want the red truck or the yellow car um, I'm giving him you know do you want this book or do you want to read this book um, and giving him choices so that he has the opportunity to tell you what he wants um, I did tell her that, like, just a few days ago, it's like a light bulb clicked on for him, and he all of a sudden is, like, saying all this stuff. Um, so that's just really a positive thing. What you want? Can you tell me? Can you say milk? Milk, please. Milk, please. I think he's kind of tired, too. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so anyway, um, we'll work, work on two and three. She said he should be saying two and three word phrases and repeating four word phrases that you ask him to repeat. So we'll work on that. Everything should be, it should never be just like car. It should be blue car. Um, okay, Mama, we'll go get you some more. Um, I told her I really wanted to work on him, his frustration. Like when something doesn't go like he wants it or he's frustrated with a toy, he gets frustrated. So we're going to work on that. Um, and we're going to work, uh, she, uh, she was super excited. She didn't know about his, um, this tie right here that we're getting taken care of at the dentist next week. So we're both really excited to see if there's some improvement on the sound of his speech. And so, um, yeah, it was just kind of a uh, more uh, paperwork. Every meeting I've had so far has been paperwork, but I know that's just kind of how the system works, you know, um, and they're covering, they're covering themselves, you know, they have to. So anyway, next week we st we'll start uh, therapy just play. She says she'll spend about 45 minutes playing with him and she'll, I'll do s some interaction with him as well. Um, she'll have me, you know, do some stuff. But um, 
then we'll work on those things during the week. And then like the last 15 minutes, we'll just kind of talk about um, his progress and talk about things. But she'll spend a good 45 minutes just working with him. So I'm excited. Um, yeah. Um, next Wednesday is his dentist appointment to cut the tie right here. And so I don't know of any, you know, of what, how long it'll take for us to really see any results. If there'll be, you know, any healing involved in that. But, um, yeah, I feel super blessed that we're in a position now where we're able to get help, um, for all of these things. Anyway, we're just going to keep plugging along and, and keep reinforcing the words. Um, he's been doing so great. He's been, there is like, the last few days there has been nothing that I've asked him to say that he hasn't at least tried to say. And some of it he said really well. So, um, we're just super excited that this light bulb went off and all of a sudden he's talking and communicating. Sorry, Sean called me. So anyway, I'm feeling pretty good about it and we'll just kind of see, see how we go. We'll just keep reinforcing these words and... And this momentum that we have with his speech, we'll just continue to work on it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go get some milk. I'm going to go to the restroom. We're going to change your diaper. And then we're going to go see Daddy. we got to pick him up. He's getting his car work done. Oil change. And we're going to go see Daddy and get him and go to lunch. <gasps> we're going to go to lunch with Daddy. Are you excited? Can you say Daddy? Daddy. Good job. Can you tell those people bye-bye? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Good job. Say love you. Bye. Say love you. Bye. <laughs> He's doing so good. Bye. We're just going to keep building on it. Yeah. Bye. Love you. Bye. Say bye. 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 So we mama. just went to Panda Express. I've never been to Panda Express. I always wanted to go. And I have not had any sweets for one month. And I'm going to have a donut. I might take an extra half a pill today. But this is a local donut place. So. I'm going to splurge today. I've been very, very good. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know, it's huge. Which one? I don't need anything excessive. Well, there's somebody behind you. They may know what they want. Oh. Um, Would you want a donut hole? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. What kind of donut are you going to get? Chocolate or white, do you think? White, probably. White. Well, chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, it's like chocolate. chocolate. There's one donut. Oh, my goodness. Here you go. <laughs> I want. Did you see the out? What are these filled with? These two right here. <laughs> hey, sweets in like a month. So I'm like, I'm going to splurge today and have a donut because donuts are my favorite. Do you want ice cream? Um, yeah. <laughs> No, that's terrible. Yes. I think I'm just going to do a, one of these. Now you're making me feel bad. I've already what? got my apple. Oh, I don't care. What I is it? What'd you get? What'd you get? I got an apple stuffed one. Oh. Did he eat that? He didn't eat it. He's still thinking about it. He's looking at it. So are we like eating these in the car? I just kind of wanted a moment with my donut. <laughs> Let's go sit. Come on. No, it's okay. I just oh, yeah. want a moment with my donut. <laughs> I want a moment with my donut. Are you going to stare and sniff it? I might. <laughs> Did you eat it? He still didn't eat it. Bye bye. It's good. It's chocolate like daddy's chocolate cake. <laughs> okay. The donuts are about $2 a piece. But they are pretty good. Okay. <sighs> Probably it's not even worth it, you know, honestly. Mm. It smells nice and yeasty. Mm. Okay. Try yours. Bite of it. Oh, what I like about this is it's very soft. Like it doesn't feel like stale. It's very soft and fresh. Mm. Not apple, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Hold on. You want to bite this? 
Hold on. I'm They're usually not a filled donut person. Yeah, see, I, to me that's heavy. The dough is heavier on that. The crew will look pretty good. I almost got the cruder. It's good, but I feel like it's a temporary satisfaction. You know what I mean? I think I can live without it and be okay. Does that make sense? Do you realize I have had no, not a sugar sweet in one month? That's huge for me. I'm a sweet alcoholic. But I've been satisfied enough with the stuff that we made. The mud cakes and stuff. So, there you have it. It's good, and it's okay, but I think I can live without it. Me too. Seriously. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't think I need that sweet. Even though in Walmart, like, I'll look at the Little Debbies and I'm like, oh my god, if I could just eat some Little Debbies. But then, like, once I eat it, I'm like, well, it tastes good right now, but then it's over and then my sugar's high. Mm-hmm. And I feel bad. I'm going to be peeing all day. You know, it's going to spike my sugar, and then when your sugar's high, you feel bad. So I think I can do without it. But it's good. Okay, let's go home. So we are back home. We've got our DMEs on. Well, Mama does. These have, still have the same clothes on. And uh, we're going to take a nap. Daddy went back to work. And uh, we're going to take a nap. We have an important meeting tonight. And so... Anyway, we're going to take a nap. Um, I enjoyed that donut, but it really wasn't worth it. Um, <clears throat> I've been so good for a month. So, I take 5 milligrams of glipicide a day. And 5 milligrams in the morning was too much for me. So, I started taking a half a pill in the morning and a half a pill before bed. Um, and that has seemed to work better for me. But, since I had so many carbs at lunch and the donut... Um, I went ahead and took another 2.5, a half a pill this after. I just took it. So I figured, um, you know, over the next couple hours, it'll help kind of lower any spike in sugar that I had. But I've never done that before. So we'll see. Hopefully, I don't drop too much. But um, yeah, I'll check it when I check my sugar when I get up and see how bad the damage is. But hopefully, the, the half a pill I just took will keep it at bay. So anyway, we're going to take a nap and then. Uh, we got some stuff to do tonight. So, we'll see you later. Can you say night night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Can you say night night? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day. I did not end the vlog last night. Um, we had a meeting um, and it kind of went late. So, I didn't end the vlog last night. But I will end the vlog now. We are headed to a place called Cookie Cutters to get Little Man's haircut. It's a place for kids. And um, so I had a good deal on Groupon for it. So normally we just go to a regular place. But this was actually cheaper than just going to a regular haircut place with the Groupon. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And hit that little bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications when we upload videos. I'll actually um, insert some photos or videos that I take um, at the haircut place for you as we end the vlog here. All right, we'll see you guys next time. What are the airplanes doing? That's so cool. Look at that. That's a pretty cool car. Look at that.